I'm going to show you how to install a plugin called PCRE Search. Um, PCRE stands for Perl Compatible Regular Expressions into Total Commander. Total Commander is a nice file management program that you can get uh, from a site called gizler.com, G-H-I-S-L-E-R.com. Once you have it installed, there's a search program that uh, is a plugin that you can install. Um, to find it, uh, go to um, Gizler board. Um, you can see that there. Uh, ViewTopic.php question t equals three eight oh nine eight. Um, that'll take you to the PCRE search. Um, here you can see the uh, breadcrumb to it. Uh, Total Commander forum index, uh, plugins, add-ons, um, dev, and support. And look for PCRE search. What you're going to do is download it. Come to the bottom of this, I believe. and 1.5, 32, and 64 bit. And here you can download a copy of it. I'm just gonna bypass that part because I've got it downloaded. You end up with a RAR file. I'm just going to copy that into the root of my C drive. And within Total Commander, I'm running Total Commander here, you can see. I'm just going to double click on that. And it asks the question, do you want to install it? I say yes. Where? It's going to be in my Total Commander folder. Um, there's a plugin subfolder, WDX subfolder. And then PCRE search is the actual plugin. So I'm just going to actually just say OK there. I'm just going to say OK there. So now if I go into the Total Commander folder, into plugins, WDX, this was not here before. PCRE search. So I can now take this as a sample any file and I'm just going to make a copy of it. So I right click copy and right click paste to make another copy of it. And then I'm going to make this the master. Just call it PCRE search dot any. Now when I go into PCRE search dot any, it's going to view it. You can see that there's um, basically three different things involved here. There's the regex um, itself, which is regex one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. Then we come down to where the name for each one of the ones up above there correlates one, two, three again, and you're simply giving it a name so it shows up um, when you look at it. We'll look at that in a minute. And then there's the regex type down here, and you can see the explanation for those up here. Okay. So now I'm going to, basically we're just going to see PCRE is in this any file and I'm going to come out of the lister and then go back in here and here's how you do a search commands search you can also do an alt F7 I'm just going to click on the search here you can see there's a plugins tab so you simply click on the plugins tab and you say search in plugins so you're going to use a plugin and instead of the total commander we now have PCRE search now, 
what's happening here is um, that these are the names that were given in the any file. So I'm, I'm going to say, for instance, um, I want anything, any file that has first line contains PCRE. I'm going to start the search. And you can see that the PCRE search.ini has it. Um, the sample has it, of course. And there's another one called PCRE license that also has um, PCRE in the first line. Let's take a look at that. Go to the file. And um, we were looking at. Let's take a look here. PCRE on the first line. So you can see that that found all the um, all the files that contain PCRE on the first line. PCRE on the first line. Blah blah blah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be modifying it with something that the author of uh, PCRE gave me and um, I'm going to be inserting it. So basically I'm just going to go pick up his um, email or note to me and that was here. Um, so I was asking basically for a video um, just to quickly get started and um, I got a little bit lost, so I thought I would do a video just to make it easy for everybody else. Um, I got one step further in and basically found out that I could just run that RAR file as I showed you before, and that simply installs it into Total Commander properly. So that's the easiest way to get that thing installed. Just double click on the RAR file. Um, uh, he gave me shit for a couple things here. I apparently posted in the wrong section. But he was very helpful, and I'm thankful for that. Um, the code here uh, talks about um, there's three different sections that we have to be um, inserting. So this is the actual regex, and this is the name, and the type that I showed you in the any file. So those are the three areas. Um, so what he had done for me is he had actually given me what I'm looking for is a search of one word that's within X number of words within another word which is a very handy thing for me so I want to install the code that he gave so basically he gave me this thread and again here I'm asking the question I'm looking for the word orange to be within a hundred words of apple for instance I uh, that was just a very um, generic question. Um, that was one answer, but here's the, another one where um, where he posts about um, why he wrote PCRE search. Um, so further down he actually gives me the actual example. Okay. And here are, here's the section in the any file. Here's the actual regex code. You can see the word apple and orange, orange and apple in there. Um, the name that he gave it and the regex type he told me which one to use. So basically I'm just going to take all that and I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to come up into here and I'm going to take a look at, um, go back a level, so I'm now in PCRE search main folder, and I'm going to take a look at this any file. Um, so I'm going to edit this time. I'm going to bring that up. And I'm just going to throw that all at the top for now so I have it to work with. And so you can see the section is this section, so I don't need to do anything with that. I'm going to take this regex1, which he gave me. Thank you for that, by the way. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to take this line out. 
And I'm going to control V, so I'm going to paste that into there. Then I'm going to take the second line, which is the actual name, and I could just type anything, but I'm just going to copy it for the front of it. And then I'm going to come down. And here's where the name is regex1. I'm going to replace the name that was there. So that's the name. And then there's one more thing at the top. We've got this type. And I'm going to come down to where the types are. Regex1 type. So I'll open up there and I'll paste it in. And you can see that 0 instead of minus 1. And I'm just going to get rid of this here. OK, so now I've got that edited. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top of the file. And where I paste it in, you can see here I've got a PCRE sec uh, search section here and a PCRE search section here. We don't need this section here. So I'm going to take that completely out. And I'm going to um, just do a file save or save document. I'm going to come out of here. And it won't work until we exit Total Commander and go back in. So I go out. And then I run Total Commander again. And this time I can now, I'm sitting in this folder, and um, so I'm going to go command and search, and I'm going to go plugins, search plugins, PCRE, and here you can see now that orange and um, apple near each other is at the top of the list, and that's what we did with the any file. Um, equals, so that's all set in the any file. You have to manually edit the any file each time. Not as convenient as having what would be nice is to have the orange and apple and the words within here. Um, hopefully at some point um, maybe he can fix that up, but that's this is a great start. Um, so I'm going to say start search and we can see that actually within five words of each other um, is actually in the PCRE search dot any now and that's true if I go to the PCRE search dot any and the backup is the ba the back is the backup file and it does not contain it so we're going to take a look um, if I view this you can see that um, orange is within five words of apple so orange apple they're one word in between, so that's very true, okay? So it's actually taking it from what we entered into this file. Now, it didn't pick up this one, and if I, um, you can see that there is no orange, no apple in this file, so that's why it didn't pick it up. So just simply by the fact that we um, edited the any file and we put those words in, um, it works. I think that probably gives you the idea of what's going on here, so I won't go any further with that. Um, one more thing I should point out is that um, once you've got this installed, this is probably similar with all the plugins, so you double click on the RAR file, you end up with the uh, plugins, ends up with a folder underneath with the actual plugin in. There's going to be a README folder there. If you then double click on the readme.html, you can actually see there's a nice um, help file that explains everything here in more detail. So I just wanted to point that out because that's a commonality of um, a lot of these plugins too. And um, one more thing, I just wanted to say thanks to the author for writing this and for assisting me uh, through the little bit painful getting started, but uh, I think we got it rolling. Thank you.